And I, well, I didn't get that myself. It was that's the answer. Okay, I agree, though. Regardless. So, if to calculate whatever happens to pH, first look at what you start with. Do you, do you recognize this at all? Strong acid. Strong acid. So our gas unit is less than 7. We could actually find the pH if we wanted to. Take the negative log of that number. Okay. Uh, then we're adding something to it. Let's figure out if it's an acid or a base. Well, this comes from sodium and nitrate. Well, the conjugate of this is sodium hydroxide. The conjugate of this one is nitric acid. So we've got a strong base here that the conjugate would be neutral. We've got a strong acid here that the conjugate would also be neutral. So we're putting two neutrals together. We've got a neutral compound. Okay? So we're adding nothing as far as pH power. Oh, yeah. So now what could have happened? They avoided this. If you added, if, they, if this had some significant volume, let's say this was one liter, that would cause the, basically this to be diluted by half because you're doubling the volume. And in that case, that would change the pH just because of dilution. It didn't say how much. It because it didn't say how much, they're trying to say we're adding an extremely small amount. Okay. So avoid the volume change. And the uh, common ion, will you, will you, um, Oh, you are adding a common ion here, but because it's neutral, it won't influence. It, it goes forward near infinitely. What would influence it more is diluting it. But since they didn't give a volume here, they're essentially saying it's negligible. So just we need to um, get the pH of the strong acid? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if volume changes, then find the new molarity. That's an interesting question.